Governor LePage of Maine was uh, giving a press conference yesterday talking about the heroin problem in his state. But today, I bet he wishes he chose his words a little more carefully. Watch. These are people that take drugs. These are guys that are named D-Money, Smoothie, Shifty, uh, these type of guys that come from Connecticut, New York. They come up here, they sell their heroin, then they go back home. Incidentally, half the time they impregnate a young white girl before they leave, which is a real sad thing because then we have another issue that we've got to deal with down the road. I think people are saying, oh, then you have another issue with the pregnancy. No, I think he realized what he'd just done. He's like, now I got another issue I got to deal with tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> for saying that. Young no, girl gets pregnant. I don't really it think. It happens. It, uh, again, he's like Donald Trump. That, is, that doesn't hurt him with his supporters. Probably not, no. And nothing, I mean, this guy is, is, it's obvious this guy's a racist, right? I mean, and they elected him <laughs> twice, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't this, he's been reelected. Am I wrong I about didn't this? Actually, I don't follow a lot of main politics necessarily. Uh, yeah, no, he's, he's been reelected. There's, uh, the, he, there's, um, I, I don't know why you guys are disputing this guy's problem. I know a lot of white folks. I went to school with a lot of white people. Um, some of my best white friends named D Money, mm -hmm. Shifty Hen, <laughs> Shifty Hen Smoothie. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's just how they roll. If some, yeah, I mean, I was saying like all the D Moneys and the D Rocks <laughs> I've known have yeah. all been redheaded white people. <laughs> and uh, oh, uh, this is gonna be cool. Everybody start calling me Shifty. <laughs> guys, that guy's white. And he also, he cut it off too soon. I mean, what about like Dopey and Doc? You know, you gotta watch out for these drug dealers, yeah. man. How about G Grumpy? G Grumpy. How about that, that dude's dangerous. And again, by the way, you have, what was it, heroin in, in particular yes. he was talking yeah, about? Yeah, heroin. Here? So when heroin comes into your state, because it's nowhere in your state, it only comes from Connecticut and New York, mm -hmm. um, the people that are buying the heroin in Maine, they're just, you know, they're just impressionable young people who yeah. don't want it. They're not, there's no market for it. They're not paying money for it. D money and smoothie are coming in going here take this and take this yeah so I mean it's <laughs> this is what they're doing huh they're shoving <laughs> the heroin down your throat and they're shoving something else everywhere else yeah this is this is the this is the picture that has been painted since the beginning in America you know war obviously, drugs. Yeah. we know <laughs> we know how this works those scary minorities okay let's say it. these scary black guys keep coming into my state mm -hmm. and impregnating yep. my pure white women with their big dicks. Yes. These fucking monkey animals. Yeah. That's, I mean, let's, let's, let's call it what it is. Yes. That's what they're saying. He just has well, to say it a different way it. now. And they wrap it up in the idea that the only reason we have this drug problem is because people just keep forcing people to take drugs. Uh, but no, that, I mean, look, and, and to some extent in the policy, like he does have room in his platform for treating people with drug problems. I mean, look, when we're talking about heroin, yes, I think generally if you have a problem with that, you should get treated. Uh, it's when they expand it and say that if you have, if you smoke marijuana, that you need some sort of help necessarily. I don't agree with that. Um, but yeah, like, there probably are a good amount of drug dealers coming from New York. I imagine a lot of the drugs that comes in the U.S. probably comes through New York. Um, but to totally say that your state doesn't have a problem, that there isn't, in some cases, reasons people turn to drugs more than just the availability, that seems uh, off base. But I do want to get to his his apology that he, uh, he gave today. I was going impromptu and my brain didn't catch up to my mouth. I, instead of saying Maine women, I said white women. If you go, and I'm not gonna to apologize to the Maine women for that because if you go to Maine, you will see that we're essentially 95% white. Oh, okay. Is that, I'm sorry for focusing on race. I shouldn't have done that. I should have said Maine, which means white. I was just real. I, I, was, I was just going off on my brain. I was freestyling in my racism. I, I wasn't thinking about the things I was saying. I wasn't censoring myself like I normally have to do because we have this new atmosphere where I'm just so mad about what these minorities are doing to my country. Yeah. We want it back. And by the way, I, you notice he said his he's, he pointed out he's not going to apologize, and I was expecting to not apologize to those offended. Mm -hmm. I'm not apologizing to those Maine, the, men, the women of Maine. Yes. For calling them white? <laughs> that I'm not gonna apologize to you guys for saying that you're white women. It wasn't the problem, yeah. The, he, doesn't the, the, he doesn't understand, he doesn't understand the concern. And the he has a history of, of... Yeah, the disregard for the existence of the people that he's talking about, that he's calling animals that just rape our women Continues even in him. He's thinking he's being contrite, but he's like yeah. he doesn't even consider that existence still. Yeah. Oh, I want to apologize to those subhuman beings. Yeah. He misses yeah. it consistently. 
And, and look, I mean, as we've done videos about him before, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a racist. He says that Obama hates white people. Nobody says Obama hates white people unless they hate some people, and those people look somewhat similar at the very least. That, that's, that's what the problem is. And look, he also hates the media, by the way, and he's pissed off that the media is focusing on it right now. Uh, during his apology, that's not an apology, he said, I'm not perfect. If I was, I'd be a reporter. That's a nice snark for you. And uh, LePage has had a long, uh, bitter relationship with newspapers in Maine, saying he'd like to blow up the Portland Press Herald's building and shoot a Bangor Daily News cartoonist. In April 2014, he also said the worst part of his life was that newspapers are still alive. The worst part of the life of some cartoonists and reporters in Maine is that the governor threatens to murder them. <laughs> Um, but he doesn't seem to be totally bothered by that. And the reason that we're focusing on this is both because it's funny, but also there are still people who think there are no powerful political figures who are motivated by racial animus. This guy is not just some state rep. This is the governor of a state, and he obviously holds biases against people. Now, maybe they don't make a very large percentage of his state's population, but he believes these things. And if you don't think that that's influencing his policies, then you have not been paying attention to and, American history. And think about policies again. This is why all these things connect with your perceptions of people. They're like, oh, let the guy be free. What's free speech? Because he's implementing policies or at least creating an atmosphere in his state where, say, a police officer sees one of these, I'm not even sure how you even described them, but one of these drug dealers come in Shifty talking crowd. to one of your pure white women. Then what's he going to think this guy's doing? He's dangerous. He's armed. I got to shoot him immediately. This is where it leads to all the rest of the next problems. It's just perception of human beings is who they are. They're not actually worthy of being around here, which is why the whole thing about lives mattering, is because we don't consider, he never considered these, anyone as a human being. Yeah. You have to kill them before they kill yeah. you, impregnate your daughters, and give them uh. Uh, milk chocolate children. Yeah. I think you're missing the real threat that a Republican sees when a black man and a white woman sleep together, especially mm -hmm. if they have a baby. Because you give it enough time, and that baby might someday become the Democratic president of the United States. <laughs>